Hello, my friends. I am so excited for our devotion today because just as a reminder, this was what we were looking at, right? We had this angel and this angel, one that came to Mary, one that came to Joseph. And then we had this angel who came to Zachariah, right? And I had said, I wonder if we will learn about the other angels that came to people. Are you ready? We will. This is our spread for today. So I'm not gonna tell you, but can you guess who these people are? The animals around them should give you some hints, right? And look at all the angels. Wow, beautiful. So today, this is our devotion. Let's go ahead and jump right in. It says this, the question right at the top. I wonder, hmm, who tells angels what to do? Let's find out. You know what messengers are, right? And you know messengers bring messages. But did you know that angels are God's messengers? He tells them what to do. One night, an angel appeared to shepherds who were out in fields near Bethlehem. The angel had this message, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all of the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. Then that angel told the shepherds where to find the baby. He would be wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And a multitude of angels showed up with that first angel and praised God. Wow, what a sight. God's messages about Jesus are for you too. His word shows you where to find the Savior. He is there in the manger. Worship him, Christ the Lord. Here is the verse that we get to say together, okay? It's actually two verses. So it's Luke 2, 13 and 14. It's a little bit longer, but we can do this, okay? So I'm gonna say it one time by myself, and then you pick up the second and third time, because we're gonna say it two times together, um, and just pick up as many words as you can, okay? Okay, it says this, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Two more times. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. One more time. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Here is our do it. It says this, it says, sing, hark the herald angels sing. Oh, that's such a good one. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. You know that one, right? Okay, sorry, my singing is beautiful, I know, but I'm gonna just cut it right there. Okay, now let's flip to the back of our devotional because look, we're starting our bottom row today. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's go ahead and flip open this door. Oh gosh, sometimes they're kind of hard. Don't worry, I won't peek first. Oh no, this one's really hard. I'm kind of peeling it up a little bit. We can do it though, friends, we can do it. Oh, I hope I don't have to pause. I'm gonna have to pause. Sorry, I'll be right back. And we're back. Oh my goodness gracious, friends. I still haven't pulled it up all the way, but look how much I had to chew that edge up to get into there. That was really hard. Let's see if I can get it the rest of the way. See, I didn't even want to do it. It's all the angels. Wow. That's worth it, isn't it? Wow. But look how chewed up that edge is. Oh my goodness gracious. I wonder if that means the rest of these are going to be really hard to get open too. We'll have to see. So wow, we have had so many days of just Wonderful. I'm going to see if I can get them all to lift at the same time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That way you guys can have a little bit of a of a, a crash course, a little bit of a reminder about what all these days were. And you know, if you guys want to pause and talk about these individually, just to, to remind each other what everything is, go ahead and press pause right. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe I want to get it to where you can see all of them. Go ahead and press pause right now. So our prayer prompt is this. It says, thank God for those who bring you the message that Jesus, the Savior, is born 
That is going to be a great prayer. And so just as a reminder, God sent angels to tell the shepherds that the Messiah had been born, that our Savior, Jesus, had been born, right? So God sent the angels to tell the shepherds, but God sends your parents to tell you about Jesus. God sends pastors to tell us. God sends Miss Laura to tell you that Jesus was born in a stable in Bethlehem, but then he grew up. He lived a perfect life because we never could. He lived a perfect life, and then when the time was right, he did suffer and die. He didn't stay dead. No way, friends. Three days later, he rose from the grave. And right now, he's preparing a home for us in heaven because he loves us and he wants to be with us. That is good news of great joy, for sure. Oh, I love you so much. And I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.